Namaste my friends. Namaste from India, specifically in Jaipur. As you can see here, we are in the center of a chaotic part of Jaipur, which is a massive roundabout where we're looking for a ride to get to the fort by sunset. And I just called an Uber to get us to the fort. The fort is specifically called Naragar Fort. And the Uber from here is about 300 rupees. So that's like $4.50, almost $5. But the problem right now is there's a lot of traffic. And my guy just replied saying stuck in traffic. So we're gonna see if we can locate ourselves another way to get up there and still make it by sunset. I'm not entirely certain we're gonna get that lucky, but we're gonna find out really soon. Raul, we got a spot here, my guy? Oh, we got a guy going in reverse right here. Namaste. What is he saying? They're saying uh, Uber going there. Uber won't go there? Uber go there. Oh, yeah. So electrics don't go up there. All right, so it sounds like the battery operated vehicles are not the ones to go up there. Oh, and we got the horn. All right, we're going to keep going this way. Oh, Opa. Hey, namaste. Guys, there's so much going on. I don't know where to go. We've got tuk tuks coming through. Namaskar. Uh, we got Raul over here negotiating. There's just literally people driving in and out. I don't know how we're going to get there, guys. At this trade, it's going to be hard to say we may get it right by sunset. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. Oh, I don't think we're having any luck over here, bro. Oh, we got an auto right there. Dost. Can they rupee? him? Yeah. All right, I'll ask him. Ghost, can you rupee? Can you rupee? 300. 300. Yeah, yeah. Bedo, yeah. Bedo, bedo. Bedo, 350. All right, chale, chalo. It has been a success. We have made it inside. Danny Yeah. He's asking for 600. He's asking for 600. No, no, in the beginning. Ah, in the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. 600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you negotiated well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is this, so guys, we're in the tuk tuk as you can see. Is this another seat for people? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, guys, this is a little mini seat. You can probably, how many people do you think you can fit in a tuk tuk? Like 12? It's up to you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Here is a. Uh, oh, there's a, people luggage. get in the back too? Oh, look at Oh, okay. Whoa. Like this? Ah, we can hide that there. All right, guys. Well, we are in route. So hopefully we'll be able to show you a little bit at sunset, but only time will tell. Hello, Jaipur. Namaskar. How can I am Asok Yadav. Asok Yadav. Asok Yadav. Arya. Nice to meet you, my friend. So guys, we're making a quick pit stop here. Our good man over here is going to hook us up with a little bit of air there so we can get up the mountain. We've got the tuk tuk there, we probably need, oh yeah, might need a little bit, this one or this one over here, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some air, guys. It's a good thing we stopped, I don't know if we'd make it up. As you, as you can see, guys, we got the uh, mopeds coming full speed ahead, be careful, my friend. Que se ho dost. Tike? Very good, apka naam kya hai? Tarti. Nice to meet you, that's a great name. All right, so they're gonna get us uh, all set up with the air guys and then we will be en route. Namaskar! Salam Alaikum! All right guys, we have probably 45 minutes left until the sun sets, so it's gonna be a close one. I'm hoping to show you guys from the drone, but uh, we shall see. Cause up there at the fort, it literally has the best views of Jaipur. So hopefully we can see it in time, but if it's meant to be guys, it's meant to be. Good news is guys, we are back in business. Coming through guys, we got a sunset to catch. Full speed ahead, my friends. Hello. Beep beep. Coming through, coming through. We've got a sunset to catch. Namaste. Namaste. Guys, 
I must say Jaipur in the evening at this time is even more beautiful. Just look at how all of these orangish colored uh, structures right here glow even more at this time of the day. I love it. Namaste! Guys, we are moving quickly here and oh yeah, whoa, we are getting wild and we're sneaking right through there. Oh, that sun is right at the top of the mountain, guys. What is this? Wow, Jal Mahal. So we're going there tomorrow, yeah? Wow, that is beautiful, guys. In an upcoming video, you'll see us visit there. I cannot wait to go. There are so many markets over there. Oh, yeah. We got to go there tomorrow at sunset. Guys, just look at it over there. There are so many people. Namaskar! A lot of photographers are out today. I've seen them all over. I mean, it's a beautiful time to be out, guys. The flowers are blooming right there. Jaipur is a picturesque city. I am impressed. We got our bros right here. Kese ho yar. Kese ho yar. Hey yar. Yeah, they love that one. Oh, speed bump. Well, bam. Kese ho yar. Yar. There we go. Chale chalo. Yeah, yeah. Good Hindi. Namaskara. Hindi is so good. Ah. Johnny I'm from, uh, I'm from uh, Chicago. Chicago? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> the Windy City. Johnny Ovac Toast. Oh, what is that? Alcohol. Oh, we're drinking. <laughs> That's incredible. They've got fresh food right here. Thank you, my friends. They pulled out an alcohol bottle right there. Those guys were awesome. I really hope they find that video. The next time I come to Jaipur, I can meet them. Such awesome guys. So much energy. There we go, guys. Nargar Fort. Namaskar. Namaskar. We made it just in time. Just in time. We arrived. Perfect. We can go up to the fort. It's closed. Special permission. Nargar Fort open. Oh, open. Chale chalo. Oh yeah, we gotta make it just in time. Daniavad bye. See you. All right, guys. Chalo, we're heading up to the fort. Oh, there's a peacock on the ledge down there, guys. Look at that peacock right down there. And the fort just stretches, guys. We can see the walls. You know how old the fort is, Raul? 1734. So, guys, we're talking 300 years old, just about. Yeah, 300 years old. Wow. And we're cruising up. It's a really enjoyable drive to get up here. Unfortunately, there is quite a bit of litter. That's a bummer. So we're going up Arabli Hills, guys. It's quite a journey because interestingly enough, when you're in Jaipur city center, you're actually like um, distance wise quite close to the fort. But to get there by the road, you have to go way like far away from like the closest part of the fort that you can see in the city and then take these windy roads up these hills to get there. But I mean, I love it. The only reason why it's challenging today is because we're uh, fighting the sunset. The day went faster than we expected it to today. Oh my god, guys. These city views are incredible. Look at this. Oh, we got another peacock over there. See him? The blue one? Wow, guys. Look at this fort. Ruins over there. We've got the sunset still there. A little longer, maybe 25 more minutes at most. That is so beautiful, guys. Oh my god. Oh, are we gonna make it up? Full speed ahead. Oh, what is that thing? Oh my gosh. What type of animal was that? <laughs> was that like a yak? No, no, no. Yeah. I don't know what type of one that was. Guys, Raul just told me that it's an Indian antelope. That was the animal we just saw a couple seconds ago. So I think that was the first Indian antelope I've seen since we've been here. Really cool to see wildlife up here near the fort. And we are arriving. Namaskar. Namaskar. Kese ho. Pige? What's the total? I don't know if I have 10. Do you have 10, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have a... Thank you. 
जाने बाद दे दो स्लिप थैंक यू All right my friend Daniyavad no change he doesn't understand no change no change my friend Daniyavad namaste So guys as you can see all outside of the entrance to the restaurant we have many different food stands here Oh maybe on the way out my friend thank you might have some on the way out guys obviously we're fighting the sunset in terms of our last moments of this beautiful day so we shall see if we're lucky enough to check all the boxes which means fly the drone make it over to oh looks like this uh, car is entering the gate and here we go ticket window do we need a ticket for anything all right indian student indian overseas tourist 200 oh they're making good money guys so we just paid uh 200 for a foreigner to get in so 200 is about uh eh, roughly three dollars and then for a uh, Indian local it's 50 rupees so just under uh, one US dollar and as you can see it's a much bigger like kind of commercialized compound than I expected like there's even a wax museum on that side there's a place up here to grab some sunset photos but I see that uh, we can only see a little bit now at this point I guess we can hop on this tree trunk oh and wow holy crap look at this you can see such a far distance you have people down there it looks like playing cricket and also maybe on some sand hill yeah so quite the quite the spot namaste yes. <laughs> very good very good oh wow these views namaste namaste wow this is the place to be yeah. all right look at this my friends incredible all right guys we had a little trouble there with the drone but uh that's all right we have got just a few minutes left until the sun goes down so hopefully actually i mean the sun's fully down but we've got a little light left we're going to be able to show you yeah we're going to, to the restaurant but we're going to be able to show you a little bit of this place oh we've got cars even driving all the way up here oh and another one and he snuck right through there all right well that got us a little adrenaline getting stopped there wow wow this is it guys it's very calm and peaceful up here compared to the busyness at the beginning of this video guys if you remember like 15 minutes ago when we started this video just craziness down there up here very quiet you can hear the birds chirping what a nice feeling here hello, hello. namaste, namaste. all right we got tickets so guys to get into the restaurant we had a uh 300 to get in three items for free all right three and uh, three items complimentary uh, chai coffee for Daniwad bai saab welcome sir all right guys so i guess this means that we are free to enter here until 10 pm and not free to enter it was 300 rupees it was 250 for 200 for me and 100 for you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so 100 for indians and 200 for foreigners guys so about three bucks for us to get in and i guess if you come here early enough You've got amazing sunset viewpoints and everything up here. I'm hoping, and they said they do, accept cards here because we are running low on cash, my friends. But uh, anyways, I'm excited to be up here. I was looking forward to coming up to this fort as one of my number one most exciting things to do here in Jaipur that I was looking forward to. So we're gonna take you with us, enjoy some dinner here. It honestly feels a bit like a theme park here. Like it's very well like um, designed in terms of the architecture. There's like food stands throughout it. And obviously you pay a bunch of different entry fees. One to get in the fort, one to get in the restaurant. Who knows, maybe even more. But they do include coffees and teas with that, three of them. Yeah, yeah so that's good news. Hello, namaste. All right, so this is the restaurant. Namaste. Namaskar. All right, and this is the uh, viewpoint over here. This is the viewpoint? Yes, yeah, it's true. Oh, very nice. As you guys can see, one of the best places in Jaipur to have a meal. Oh, oh. This is Jaipur, my friends. We didn't make it by sunset. Oh my god. But we made it while it was bright enough to see. Your first time up here, Raul? Yes. What do you think? It's amazing, man. Unbelievable. Yeah. It was worth all the trouble we went through to get up here, guys. Yeah. Yes. It's worth it. Oh, yeah, exactly. We've got some fellow GoPro users down there. Hello, Namaskar. And wow, there's even like little tables up there that you have your own private space. 
and live guitarist. Namaskar. Hi. Namaskar. Yes. Kese ho? Ache hai. Ache hai. Tike, tike. You from? Kese ho? From US. Yes. Yeah. YouTuber? Uh, YouTuber, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which <coughs> name? It is right here, my friend. <coughs> right there. Ooh. Yes, sir. World Nomad. Uh, yes, sir. So, we're exploring the beautiful city of Jaipur. Ah, you're the man. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank Dani Vadyar. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Dani Vadyar. Dani Vad. <laughs> oh guys, all right. All right, we are looking for our spot to take a seat guys. It's very peaceful over here. There are many different options. Oh, that looks like the private one. You probably got to reserve that. And there's another tower over there. There's so much seating. Very nice design. But I, I think, is that table right along the edge there? Available? Yes. That's probably the best view, yeah? Yes. Sir. Yeah? All right. Chale chalo. Chale chalo. Uh, perfect. And so you're from Jaipur? Yes. Very nice city. Very nice city. Yeah, this is the best viewpoint in the yes, whole, all Jaipur whole city. city. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very nice. The best sunset point. Yeah, I know. We arrived a few minutes late. Oh, you dropped something yeah. there, bro. All right. Yeah, let's see here. This is going to be... I think uh, this, is, this is the best one we're going to get. You guys, for sure, this is the best night I've had in India. We have the guitar playing. I'll let you listen for a second. Daniavad bye. Daniavad. But yeah guys, we have the acoustic being played live up here. Up here is like an escape from the busyness of the city. You can see mountains in the distance. You can hear birds chirping. And you can just see some lights and so many kilometers or miles into the distance. This is the place where you're in the complete zen. Incredible India. Well played. Uh, where is uh, light? Alright guys, it is time for a little kingfisher. Oh. Opa, there we go. Thank you very much. Dani Avad Dost. Yes. There we go, cheers. Oh, this that looks quite good. Nothing better than a kingfisher. King cheers, my candy. friend. Oh man, they get better every time. Thank you very much. Wow, very delicious, King guys. Kingfisher candy. I will say, yeah, Kingfisher candy, right? I will say, when you have a uh, Kingfisher right here along with these views, it must taste a lot better. I mean, it always tastes good, but looking out here while you're sipping on one should be a Kingfisher commercial. Oh, guys, you know I like this restaurant already when the first menu page is the beer list. That is very nice. And we have wine, we have liquors. We've got a little bit of everything in there for those of you that like to enjoy the adult beverages. Lots of other options here from, looks like uh, fresh lemon waters, coffee, tea, egg preparation, vegetarian snacks, non-veg snacks. We've got a little bit of everything, veg preparation, curries. Yeah, I'm probably going to most likely get whatever our server recommends us. Chapatis, Chinese preparation, meal buffet, wow, even pizzas on here. But uh, let's put it this way. There's probably something on here for every person's preference. And so I'm pretty easy. As long as there's not mushrooms on my meal, then I'm quite happy. So I'm going to take the recommendation. What are you thinking about getting Raul? Have you looked at the menu? No. No? Oh, well, it's about time then. Yeah. Uh, what would you recommend? Yes, recommend this. Or what's your number one most popular item? Yes. See, and the other best chana yogam chakna. Uh, the China Jor Garam. Yes. That's a good best. one. All right. We'll take one spicy. China Jor Garam. Oh, I love spicy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. And Indian momoj. Oh, yeah. Let's add those. Those are, what are those, dumplings? Yeah, they steam. Ah, perfect. Steam. Yeah. We'll do one order of those, please. Okay. Great recommendation. Thank you. So, guys, we are having the China Jor Garam. And actually, guys, I must say, very reasonably priced here. We're looking at 120 That's That's dollar fifty for the first course of the meal. Is this veg or non-veg? Oh, uh, veg. And what are these things? Like, I can't even tell. They look like there's like vegetables in there along with something else. Oh, mm-hmm. That's got a little spice kick, but I like it. It actually, I need another bite to get a proper analysis of the flavors. I like it a lot. It's a really delicious appetizer. Basically, it tastes like you have your fresh vegetables in there, you have your spice, and then you kind of have almost like 
I guess you could call these like mini crackers, even though that's wrong. Like mini, I guess English people would call them uh, mini biscuits, but it's like a nice and subtle snack. Mm. High quality. You can tell the vegetables are fresh. The crackers are, or whatever you call the little chips in there. And those are fresh as well. They have a good crunch on them. Mmm. Delish, guys. Delish. Guys, so we just got the second order, which I found when I asked for recommendations, they are both appetizers. But honestly, sometimes I like just eating appetizers. This will be more than enough food for me to eat both of the things I'm sharing with you. But look at it. It kind of looks like a pierogi. It kind of looks like a dumpling. It's got a mix of all of them. And we have two different sauces. We have a mayonnaise and then the second one, Raul, what would you call this? The red one? Simple, like spicy one. Simple, spicy. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take a bite alone first so I can get a taste of the flavors as usual, guys. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. It's kind of like a noodly um, type of, I guess, texture to it on the outside. And then on the inside, you have a bunch of flavored vegetables. Like, to be honest, had I not known that this was a veg item, I probably would have had to think about it for a second because the spices are so strong in here in a good way, like very overpowering. I had to really think, is there actually meat in there or not? So we're gonna try it with a little of the red sauce there. Mmm. I do like it with the red sauce because it gives it a little more, I guess, flavor, but also, you know, when you have it without any dipping sauce there, maybe slightly dry. Um, I think they're cooked well. I think just generally the, the, the item or the, the food itself can be a little dry without the uh, mixing sauce. Mm. There it is with mayonnaise. It's pretty good. Different type of mayonnaise that I've had anyways, but I like it. I would say I prefer with the red sauce. The red sauce has got a proper spice to it. Mm. G-O-O-D, my guy? G-O-O-D and TK. <laughs> TK. Mm -hmm. King of share candy right now. Yeah, I'd say that's a uh, proper start to the meal, guys. Delicious. Guys, this is a monumental moment. Raul just tried out this sauce right here, and it was too spicy for him. That means a foreigner likes the spice more than the Indian local. Unbelievable. Oh, this is God. a once in a lifetime thing that happens. Ah. It's so strong for him that he can't even finish it. He had to dip it in the mayonnaise. Oh. <laughs> my bottle. <laughs> oh, it's too spicy for him. I mean, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Like, my mouth does have a burning sensation to it, but it's a pretty enjoyable one. But I'm, I'm probably a unique foreigner in terms of how much I love spicy. Now, I'm, now I'm trying with the mayonnaise. Yeah, there we go. He's uh, going with the non-spice now. Now it's fine. <laughs> now it's fine. Yeah, yeah, much better. We've got our man playing some good tunes. This is it. You requested this? Incredible, incredible, my friend. God. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, that was absolutely incredible. Live acoustic guitar playing with these city views. There's nothing like it. All right, guys, and we are going to finish this delicious meal off. It was a pretty light meal for me, but that's probably all I needed. And we have gulab jamun. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. Gulab jamun. So this looks like maybe two bites. Mmm. It's so delicious, very sweet. You can tell it's cooked in hot oils here, chewy, mm, a fantastic dessert. Mm. Guys, when you take a bite of that, all the warm sugary mm, oils and everything just plunges into your mouth and it's fantastic. G double O D my friends, that's where we're gonna end it. All right guys, so the total bill was 1,850 rupees, so $24.26 to be enjoying these views right there well worth it in my opinion so i really enjoyed that and yeah for 12 dollars a person that's fantastic guys i would come here many times and the next time i come to jaipur I'll, I'll for sure be coming back so let's head out and we'll see you back at the tuk tuk guys we are walking back to the uber so that's where i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video really enjoyed taking you guys up here despite some of the complications we uh hello <laughs> Despite some of the complications, we made it up just in time to at least see the last 
minutes of light here and really really enjoyed it so yeah guys love in jaipur with each video more and more i am and so i hope you guys are too and if you have make sure to hit that like button and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video